Hi folks, how are you doing? Uh, Morgan Jim here, Keith. Today we're going to be looking at this. This is, not the autofocus off, this is the Unholy RDA from Deathwish Mods. Um, it's a Canadian uh, mod designed by a chap called Max Dubé, or Dub, Dubé? French Canadian gentleman, very lovely guy. But yes, he developed Deathwish Mods. There's the Crossbones mech, that's Crossbones mech there. And this is the Unholy RDA on top. But what I'm going to do though is I'm going to look at the RDA in this episode because I bought, I got the basically the setup from UK USA e liquids. They're basically for the stainless steel, or in fact, they're all the same price, a £150 for the RDA and the make. I believe you can buy the unholy rda now on its own i think it's about 60 pound there about for the rda on its own so yeah we'll just go down to the close-up i'll put a little sort of competition build in it uh 0.1 ohm competition build using the wire doctor come back have a vape and tell you what i think okay okay then let's take a look at the unholy rda from Deathwish mods this is a canadian designed uh rda from Deathwish mods you got the logo here, 2016. This is the actual Deathwish Mods logo. And this is engraved into the front of the RDA. Deathwish Mods. The logo again. The boxes are very highly stylized and look like a gravestone. These come in stainless steel, copper and brass. And each box, the colouring down here is different to indicate which device it is, whether it's brass or copper. I think the, the brass is like a yellowy, goldy colour and the copper is a more sort of dirt, orange sort of colour. But this is a stainless steel. Pop the box open and there it is. There is the Unholy RDA. This is it. In the box, that's the engraving that's in the front of the device. This is it on the box. The hand bursting from the grave. It's a 24 millimeter device. It's 316 stainless steel. The engraving is really, really beautiful. And you've got these inverted crucifixes or crosses on the side. These are your airflow control, hence the name Unholy. On the bottom, we've got the Deathwish Mods logo again. And this is number 250. Very large chuff cap up here. Actually, what's the diameter on that? Let's uh, check the diameter out. The diameter across about 16 millimetres. And you can see the vertical uh, posts there. A bit of the engraving in the deck as well. Right, let's pop this on the... If I can find it. Right, there it is. Just to remind you as well, actually, if you can get into the bottom of the box, because it is a very tight fit. Come on. Come on, there we go. You've actually, at the bottom of the box, underneath, we've got spare O-rings, spare screws, and we've got a spare silver-plated 510 pin as well. I believe it's stainless, it's silver plated stainless steel, I believe. But on the website, it does say copper. Just double check that. Right. Let's have a look at this deck. There we go. And here we have the unholy RDA deck. As you can see, we've got two vertical posts here with side clamps. It's actually a very easy deck to build on. I've got a couple of coils here that I'm going to pop in for you. Right, on the base, we've got Deathwish Mod 2016. It's f the depth. The depth of the deck is about five millimetres. So it will hold, yeah, probably a couple of mils of juice once you've packed it with cotton. It will hold a decent amount of juice. And being sort of 24 millimetre as well, it's, you know, it's a decent size for your bigger builds. I'm going to be using this for the build. 
This is 19 gauge heart attack from the wire doctor. I'm doing a nine wrap on four millimeter. It's going to come out about 0 0.15. So yeah, that is a deck. These are silver plated copper, I believe, these uh, posts. That's what it does say on the website. These are silver plated copper. If we just unscrew one of these plates, I will show you what the clamps look like. That off. Right. Give that a wipe. I mean, I received the unholy RDA and the crossbones about two weeks ago, and I've been using them and testing them, putting different builds in them, and they've been performing really, really well. So that's your vertical clamp there. That's the actual post. That's the earth post. And then this part here. Zoom into that. As you can see, oops, it's got hatching on it to hold the coil better in place. A bit of cross hatching. So when you clamp it in, it bites into the coil to hold it in place so there's no slippage. Really good design, very simplistic. Yeah, I like that. Let's pop this back in. Somehow, I'll just pause it just now. All right, there we go the post back together. So yeah, as I said, it's silver plated, 24 millimeter device. You know, it's it's a bit like a vertical goon, but I prefer this because the way that the screws and the way this holds, you know, you've got these sort of sections up the top here that hold the plates in place so you don't get sort of wobble or slippage. It's very symmetrical when you're screwing it into the coil which I like and it holds the coils in place very good design that works really well now let's pop this onto the coil master let's take a look at the airflow right this is the top of the cap we've got this airflow here Pink. right We've got three different designs or different ways of uh, vaping on the Unholy RDA. You've got fully wide open, the centre post, and then the horizontal bar. Now I tend to vape it like that. That's perfect for me. I get a good sort of lung hit, but it's quite a restrictive lung hit and I enjoy that and it's great for flavour. And wide open. And then you've got the centre post there. The good thing with this RDA is you can actually mouth to lung. Because that's the horizontal bar of the cross. But you can take it across and you can actually get quite a decent mouth to lung inhale with this RDA. So this RDA does, it does meet a lot of uh, vapor's needs. And I think you can buy the unholy RDA from Deathwish Mod separately. I do believe they're about sixty pound. I bought the crossbones and the unholy together, and that was one hundred and fifty pounds for the two, and that was from UK USA e liquids up in the Rotherham. But yeah, I do enjoy that. That's my perfect airflow for me. But if I'm cloud chucking, you know, it's it's got to be wide open. <laughs> right, the this it comes with this Delrin drip tip. Just a plastic delving rip tip, nicely rounded. So it's comfortable when you're vaping. But if you get, if I can find it now, one of these uh, Battle Cap or Kennedy's, these actually fit perfect. Because if you can see, I'll show you there, you've got a rubber, very much like the Kennedy 24 and 25. You've got that rubber uh, O-ring in here that holds the, so you just pop that in. Come on, and you go. There we go. Ta -da. So they fit in flush like that, and they look really nice with these style of drip tips on it. Really nice. They'll also take the, oh, what do you call it, the TFV, the TFV8 drip tips as well, they'll take those ones. 
which I quite like because it almost looks like necrotic decomposing flesh which goes sort of well with the you know the zombie dead hand coming out of the grave. Okay then, so let's put a build into the unholy RDA. Pop this to the side. Oops. As I said, I'm going to be using this 19 gauge heart attack from the Wire Doctor. And it's, you can see at the top, actually that's in the English side, on the other side. Suggested build is 7 to 9 wraps on 3.8 millimetres. You have to really learn how to do your build. This is a very low resistance wire, it is. But I'm going for <clears throat> hopefully 0 0.15. Got my two coils here, which are pre coiled. Now the reason I pre-coiled it off camera is because 19 gauge is very, very hard, very thick and a bit difficult to uh, coil with. So there was lots of grunting and groaning when I was coil coiling these coils. Right, pop the coil in like that. There we go. There's one in. Get the other one in. Two, buckle my shoe. Get in there. There we go, simple as that. Very simple, just hold them together and tighten up the. I should pull out a bit. Just tighten the clamp up, like so. On that side. Oops. Come on. It's really difficult to do through a viewfinder. There we go. Nice and tight. Position these. Pull them and straighten them up. Like so. Yeah, that's, that's it, yeah. As I said, dead easy to, you know, once you fit the coils, it's dead easy, you know, because the clamps hold them really, really well, really well. Yeah, that is tight, yep, tight, tight, tight. Right, so there we go, we've got our competition 19 gauge build in here, which is coming on, bang on 0 0.1 ohms. So that is right in the limit for competition usage. Just be very careful with your battery uh, amperage though. We'll close that down. And there we go. That is the unholy coiled up. Right, let's wick this up. I'm going to use some of this stuff. This is Ivy UK Premium Cotton. Hashtag juice them up. Oops, just drop. Right. As I said, this is a four millimeter diameter, nine wrap, 19 gauge wire doctor. Gives you bang on 0 0.1 ohms. So if you're thinking your competition builds, wire doctor, that build, ideal for you. Make sure your cotton's not too tight. You want it to wick through the coil. So a little bit of resistance, not too much resistance. If it was too tight, it won't work and it'll just burn. There we go, perfect.
perfect. Right. Trim the cotton. Trim it to about. Trim to about here. So we can tuck it. Oops. Tuck it right under the coil. screwdriver just fluff it up and tuck it under like so that nice deep juice well the cotton just fits in there perfectly heart attack, wire doctor, all wicked up. All right, time to get some juice on it. I'm gonna use my favorite thick oil, chubby oil. It's like a donut. Very nice. Now the reason I'm doing the RDA and the make separate is because there's such, I know I bought them as a pack combined, but they're two very, very individually fantastic devices. So they, de they deserve a review on their own, basically. So yeah, I will be doing the make after this RDA review. And I can't speak English today. Her English is not working. Right. Anyway, let's get let's get the crossbones out. I'm going to be using these batteries. This is a the Aspire 1800 milliamp high drain, 40 amp. I'm going to pop that in there. Take the try and take the. Now, with this device being a hybrid, always make sure you check that your 510 pin is protruding. And this has got an adjustable 510 pin on it. Actually, this 510 pin comes out like so. And you can see you've got a stainless steel post. So this is fixed so that your uh, positive post is fixed separately. That's for your uh, negative. Post. But yeah, it's nice having this adjustable 510 pin so you've got improved safety on your hybrid devices. There we go, like so. Nice. Let's screw this onto the crossbones. Fire up. Here we have our 0 0.1 competition build on the unholy RDA from Deathwish Mods. Right, let's go back up, have a vape and talk about it. Okay, then we're back up there. That was a close up and a build in the unholy RDA from Crossbone Mods. What do I think of the unholy RDA? I think it's a very good RDA. In fact, I think it's one of the best RDAs I've ever used. And I'm not saying that because of, you know, knowing Max and, 
you know, using the wire doctor. It, I love the fact that it's dead easy to build on having those horror, you know, the, the vertical posts with the clamps, and you know, you've got that deep, deep juice well, five millimeters, holds a good amount of cotton, good amount of uh, e liquid as well. I love the way with the airflow, that design with the cross that you've got so many options. Okay, one negative, you can't put a single build in this, but it's not designed for single builds. It's, you know, dual coils, but you can adjust that airflow really tight. You can get mouth to lung, and I have tried mouth to lung, and yeah, it does work. There's no, I didn't show the inside of the cap actually, but there's, it's, there's no sort of concave. It's a very sort of flat internal to the top of the cap. Uh, but the flavour production is really, really good from the Unholy. Can't fault the flavour production at all. I think maybe because of this vertical post design, it restricts quite a bit of space, so that when your your, your coils and your e-liquid heats up, it's forced past the vertical posts up into your uh, you know your drip tip, and you're getting really good flavour production. The build quality is fantastic. You know, you're looking at what was sixty pound for this RDA. You can put your Kennedy drip tips on it. You can put your Goon drip tips, the TFV V8 drip tips onto it. You've got lots of options. I do believe there's you can put a, like a oh, what do you call it a resin a slam cap on it as well uh, from the Goon. It actually fits on top of the unholy RDA. But then if you do that, you're not getting any. Uh, airflow control at all just wide open now I've got this on the center post up because I realized we know 0.1 ohm build it was a little hot because before I was using the uh, Clapton builds and the uh, flat wire builds in it at about 0 0.25 0 0.3 so with the, the horizontal bar I was getting a nice restrictive lung hit and really really good flavor but this build's a bit hot for that, so I've opened it up a bit. Mm. The flavour is fantastic. I mean, I'm using the, you know, the thick oil, uh, butter oil here, and that donut, the glazed donut, is just fantastic, really tasty. It's a really good RDA. Now, there was a lot of hype regarding the Death Wish mods before they came out, uh, regarding the, the mech itself and the RDA. Lots and lots of hype. I think it was well worth it. I think Max has produced a fantastic quality RDA. You do get it in brass, copper and the stainless steel. I went for the stainless steel because I wanted an everyday device that I could use. In fact, I don't actually have a stainless steel setup. Most of my devices are either copper or they're brass. So this, I can use this every day. It's not going to tarnish. It's hard wearing being 316 stainless steel. I'll put a picture up to show you the, the brass and the copper RDA uh, with the top caps. I'd imagine though eventually you'll be able to buy the copper and the brass, just the top caps, I hope, max. Good idea, man, you know, just sell the caps separately. So you can chop and change as you want. As I said, it's a 24mm device, fits nice on you know all these larger uh, devices. The crossbones is actually 26mm, you can see it sort of chamfers up. But I'm going to do the review on the crossbones very shortly. So yeah, overall, I really like, <laughs> I really do like the Unholy RDA. It is a fantastic bit of kit, I really, yeah. I never got on with the Goon, didn't like the Goon at all, I just, I found the Goon very, very fiddly and finicky and didn't really like the flavour that came off of it. The Kennedy, I mean I like my Kennedy. Uh, so I suppose before I got the Unholy, the Kennedy 24 and the Kennedy 25 was my, that was my competition RDA. Now I'm using this and I, I've used this solid for the past two weeks with lots of different builds and I've been testing it and it's never failed on me. It's really, really good. Another vape. Mm. Oh, I love it. Anyway, so that was lots of vapor. That was the Death Wish mods 
Unholy RDA. Thank you very much for watching. Please share, subscribe, and you can purchase these from UK USA e liquids, Rideo Vapor. Where else can you buy it from? Oh, Flatwire UK. Yeah, Flatwire UK sell the Unholy RDA as well. So, yeah, thank you very much and speak to you all soon. Cheers.